Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots, Hats, and Western Loft Enthusiasts. Today I'm making a comparison video of older cowboy boot companies, basically companies that have been around for 50 years or more and that we all have come to know and love. Now, there has been a lot of companies that have been making cowboy boots for that long, but today I will only be talking about the ones that I actually still do own and that are still in business. And one of them has come out on the top. Well, let's find out which one it is. So here's a breakdown of the boots that I have from these companies, starting with the Justin brand of family. I own two pairs of Justin, two pairs of Tony Llamas, and two pairs of Nikonas. On to the Rios of Mercedes brand of family. I have one pair of Rios of Mercedes and one pair of Anderson Bean. Lucchese, I have four pairs, and Dan Post, I have two pairs, one of them being my first pair of cowboy boots that I've owned for 15 years. All right, folks, so here are the clear winners. I'm just going to go out and say it. They are the Rios of Mercedes brand of family. And these are my Rios of Mercedes ostrich leg, and these are my Anderson Bean giraffe. Now, let's go ahead and start with consistency. Uh, as far as consistency, I have, like I said, four pairs of flukases, and two of them are goatskin, one of them is cowhide, and one of them is uh, caiman belly. Now, the caiman belly was made in Mexico, all the other three were made in USA. Now, my goatskins equally fit absolutely wonderful. I love those boots. Uh, my uh, cowhide one that is made in the USA fit good but not as good as my goatskin ones uh, and finally the caiman belly are very tight uh, I've been trying to break them in for the longest and I just haven't you know had a good uh, opportunity to do so um, now I've been told that Lucchese's Mexican made boots uses a, a, a tighter last or a narrower last now it could be down to that, and I, I definitely do believe that. Uh, or it could be down to uh, also from another thing that I've heard, the fact that it's caiman belly and that caiman doesn't uh, stretch that much. Uh, I definitely want to test out that theory with another pair of caiman bellies and see if they fit a little different and if it is just due to the last. Um, also with Justin uh, brand of family, uh, I have the two Justins, one fit good, one a little tighter. I also have uh, one Tony Lama that fits a little tighter than the other. And I also have a pair of Nakonas that fit a little tighter than the other. So it's basically consistent in that aspect with those brands. Um, the Dan Post, they fit good. Uh, like I said, one of them I've owned for 15 years and I've broken in. So definitely it's gonna fit a little bit better, but one of them is still um, a little tighter than the other. So very inconsistent on that aspect. But with, uh, with Rios of Mercedes, one of their saying is the fit of your life. And I do strongly believe that because I've tried a pair of, uh, I've obviously owned a pair of Rios of Mercedes and, and these uh, Anderson beans here. I've tried a pair of Olathe and they are very comfortable uh, just as these are and just uh, and also with the Rios of Mercedes and also I've had a chance to try a pair of horsepower from uh, uh, Kimo Sabe in Las Vegas at the Caesars Palace and those are Mexican made those are their uh, lower line boots that are Mexican made and man the fitting is just just as good um, so very consistent on to customer service now all these companies offer great customer service where you call them and they answer the phone for the most part and they will actually talk to you and be very kind to you. Um, so customer service is great amongst all these companies. But there's one thing that sets Rios of Mercedes apart from all the other ones is that they remain more small family and humble and they're not as corporate as the other ones. So when you're actually speaking with a Rios of Mercedes, you're speaking to someone that is in direct contact with uh, the boss, the owners, um, you know the family uh, they are a little bit more personal a little bit more approachable a little less corporate and that's something we could all appreciate 
So pricing. With Rios and Mercedes selling their top-end boot at $2,000 plus and Lucchese selling their top-end classic lines for upwards of $15,500, they are the two most expensive boots in our lineup today. But with the Rios of Mercedes, they are consistent, like I said, in their fit and in the uh, quality for the most part. They will um, give you the best that they can for the money, I feel. Uh, if you want um, a boot that is priced in the Dan Post and the Justin uh, range and have the same fit as the um, as the top end Rios of Mercedes, you could get yourself a pair of Horsepowers or you could get yourself a pair of Anderson Bean if you want to step it up a little bit. But with the Lucases, you have to spend at least $500 and the fit might not be the same as their top end boot. Um, but with the Rios of Mercedes, if you want their nicest boot and you really want to flash it off, you're not going to be much more than $2,000, maybe a little bit more, but you're not going to have to spend double or triple the money that Lucchese is charging. And I feel like that is a great aspect. So on to quality and manufacturing. All these companies make really high quality boots and have manufacturing plants in the United States and in Mexico. Now for Lucchese and Rios of Mercedes, that is where it stops. Other companies like Dan Post and Justin's brand of family do make, do have also manufacturing plants in China and overseas, which it shows because I have seen those boots and the quality lacks. And that is why a lot of us uh, do not want to buy boots from China or overseas because the quality does lack. Now, um, with Rios of Mercedes and uh, Lucchese, uh, they have chosen not to go that route and that is very good because it keeps them in a higher spectrum of a brand where the other two companies have cheapened uh, their brand by doing so. So there you go guys, these are the reasons why Rios of Mercedes is by a slight margin my favorite older boot company. Now, I do love all my other cowboy boots that I've stated, and I really do want to try some of the ones that I haven't stated. Uh, now, I want to know what your favorite cowboy boot companies from the old days are. Which, which one is your favorite out of the ones that I've stated, and even some of the ones that I haven't stated? There's no wrong answers. Everybody has their own personal uh, liking and reasons why they do love uh, a, a particular older company. Uh, maybe your father wore it or, you know, something like that. So let me know, uh, maybe the, uh, some of the Rios of Mercedes doesn't fit you as well as uh, Lucchese or some other brand. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. If you guys like the video, hit like and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more coming up on the channel and on the Facebook page. All right, well, have a good one.